I would like to preface this by saying that I had already filmed this announcement video, but I lost like half the footage of it. So now I'm re-recording it. <laughs> I, I, it's just easier for me to like re-record everything because like most of it I lost, but we move on. It's fine <laughs> Welcome back. What's up guys? It's Ange and today it is not your typical commentary video. Instead, today we are going to be talking about three very, very big announcements and changes that is going on in my life and in terms of content. There's going to be one little mini fourth announcement as well. So stick around if you care at all about me. <laughs> Before we do get into the announcements though, I did want to share exactly how I got into the YouTube space and a little bit of a backstory as to why I decided to do content full time. I think that it matters to the actual three announcements thing, but if you don't actually care, you can just skip to the, to the second half of this video for when the announcements actually are announced. But um, for those of you guys who do care, and for those of you guys who have been watching and seeing this journey throughout the last year, year and a half, then I'm excited to share it with you finally. A lot of you guys have actually been asking me how I got into the space, and I always briefly mention it, but I never really go in depth. And I think it's time for me to kind of tell you guys how I kind of got to where I am. So, <sighs> rewind all the way back to 2019. It was a very silly, a little bit too long of a get to know me and I it was awkward and it was cringe you can go watch it if you want but it's so awkward and it's so I can't look back at it and it's only been like three years since then so it just goes to show how much growth can happen to a person and how much change can happen to a person within just three years but but I will say I was really glad that I was able to kind of break out of my shell and just turn the camera on when I tell you I was so nervous to even talk to a camera and I didn't know what I was doing and I was fumbling well, I still fumble with my words, but I was fumbling with all my words. <laughs> yeah, it was hard, but I think I was proud of myself that I was brave enough to even post anything on YouTube. I must be shameless for that to still be not privated on my channel. <laughs> I ended up just sporadically making YouTube videos for the fun of it. I just wanted to kind of make content. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that making videos was a lot of fun and I really liked editing them. During this time, it was actually the summer after my freshman year in college. And I had just had a conversation with my parents deciding that I would be taking a gap year due to financial reasons. I honestly did not mind taking a gap year. I don't think I was meant to be a student. Not that I was a bad student or anything. I was uh, a very good student. I know that I got into the Dean's list. I didn't really feel like I belonged to sticking to a schedule. I didn't really feel like I belonged to like sitting down and grinding out for a corporate job in America eventually. Like, I don't know. I felt like I was a very creative person and a very driven person. And I wanted to kind of make my career my own. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Back then, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just like, peace out school. Like, I will take the gap year. <laughs> I don't need this in my life. <laughs> and to be honest, I was paying way too much money for what I was actually receiving in terms of education. I think I honestly learned more about video editing and like all the programs that I use online by myself than the school that I was enrolled in. And that says something. <laughs> so I worked full time for my parents as a sales yes sales manager uh it just wasn't for me so after a few months i ended up uh, leaving and they were like thank you for helping us out for the last few months but they were really sweet for letting me kind of go off and do my own part-time work then i worked at an education center then the pandemic hit i didn't know what i was doing with my life i was kind of lost in the sauce and i was really trying my hardest to transfer schools at this point but not only did COVID get in the way my previous school that i was enrolled in wouldn't give me my transcript because i didn't pay the tuition back in full mind you i have already begun a payment plan for the tuition it's gonna take my family four years to pay it off and until those four years are completed my first year of college will not be counted as credit. So I had two options. I can restart as a freshman in another school or I cannot go. <laughs> and guess what I chose? <laughs> 
And yeah, and it's kind of crazy how timing works because this was in the midst of COVID. The world is kind of going to shambles and school isn't even fully happening right now. It's all hybrid and stuff. So I decided to really contemplate what I enjoy doing in my life. And I kind of stumbled back to the idea of YouTube videos. I, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to take it seriously at first. Going back to those videos and remembering how much fun I had actually editing and creating such cringe content, but so funny to me. And I don't know, like, I just remembered I had a really good time making those videos. In my head, I had no idea how to make a career out of it. All I knew was that I really enjoyed it. And so I buckled down and I researched all that I had to all the equipment I needed, all the statistics I needed in order to get a channel monetized. I looked up different genres of content that I wanted to try out because I had so many different interests and I had so many different hobbies. So I dissected it down and then I made a little PowerPoint presentation to my parents. Or it was more like a spreadsheet for what I needed from my parents if they can help support financially instead for giving that money to school if they can give it to me for these supplies and for these cameras in pursuing YouTube as a full-time career. And my parents looked at me and said, we support all of your dreams and aspirations, but you're gonna pay for all of it yourself. <laughs> Which makes sense, you know, we had to be a little bit frugal and it really motivated me to actually like go for it and if I wanted it that bad, then I would have been able to do whatever I can to make the money and be able to set up my own my own little studio that I have today. So applied to be a barista again at a old barista shop that I used to work at pre-COVID. I worked for almost a, a year, over a year? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even remember. I think it was a little over a year, but basically I worked and worked and worked until I can slowly start piecing together my equipment. It all started with just like, one crappy computer from Facebook Marketplace, a monitor, a used Sony mirrorless camera, and then slowly but surely I started to build my own setup. I built this beautiful little corner behind me. I still have a scuffed table, but we won't mention that, all right? Leave my barbecue table alone. <laughs> I was figuring out what I was doing for content. I posted vlogs, nighttime vlogs, food runs, uh, mukbangs, commentaries, song games, a bunch of challenges. I did all of it. And I really kind of try to filter out and see exactly what I liked to do on camera. And I loved it all, to be honest. I loved doing anything and everything. I loved commentaries. I'm a huge fan of Dylan is in Trouble, huge fan of pretty much it. And I, I loved it at the time, so I gave it a try and I started to actually really like doing the commentaries. And not only that, it was very beneficial because the algorithm pushes out a lot of videos like that, I started to build my brand more towards the commentary space. Hence my channel now. I'm so blessed to be here where I am and to say thank you for 75,000 of you to subscribing and liking all my content and being in the early gang and commenting down below for the YouTube algorithm. The, those of you guys in my Discord community and those of you guys who are subbed to my Twitch channel. For those of you guys who stayed up with me for like over 24 hours on a subathon, you guys are actually the homies. So thank you guys for this journey and thank you for supporting me while I was trying so hard to push and push and push to get to where I am. Um, we have gone from literally posting 15 minute videos of me painting to, <laughs> to now getting sponsorships from big name brands like Amazon Prime Video and Squarespace. And it's, it's just been such a huge journey. I get, I'm getting like emotional thinking about it. And now that I'm here, I'm very excited to announce that I am going to be taking multiple steps to growing my content and growing my brand. I think with your help, these dreams can be a reality. Announcement number one, another YouTube channel. Ah! <laughs> you thought just one YouTube channel? I am going to be releasing two new channels. What? Huh? And what? <laughs> The first alternate channel is going to be called Another Angelina. Haha, <laughs> see, it's like an alliteration. <laughs> this channel is going to have my highlight games or stream highlights from my Twitch channel on there. And it's gonna be some of my favorite moments, funny moments. I think it'll just 
be able to broaden up my audience a lot more. Some people are just on YouTube and just prefer watching shorter VODs and shorter length videos on YouTube than Twitch. And I don't really want to deprive people from the content because it's good content, or at least I think so, for those people who are on YouTube more. Therefore, I'm going to be putting all the best stuff from Twitch onto YouTube. And those of you guys who like a slower pace and like spending like hours with me on Twitch, that's great too. And I know you guys are supporting me there as well. So the second channel I'm going to be opening up is called And vs. The World. And vs. The World is going to be centered on all my vlogs, my travel journeys, my personal life. <laughs> it's going to be featuring more mom content, hopefully, if I can convince her, until I potentially move out vlogs and stuff like that. And you guys are going to be the first to know that I am officially going to be a dog mom. So, oh, I'm so excited to make videos on them. I'm going to be a dog mom, guys. True homies know that I've been wanting this dog for so long. It is going to be so important for you guys to subscribe to both channels because as you guys know, it takes a certain amount of watch time hours and it takes a certain amount of subscribers to get those channels monetized ASAP Rocky. So make sure you guys go subscribe and watch the videos on there. And I promise you a little bit goes a long way. Make sure you hit the notification bells and really, really support those channels so they can thrive. I know it's going to take a lot of time. I know it's going to take a lot of effort, but I am motivated. I am ready to get that stuff out for you guys. We are a team here. It is legit. You and me working together. So let's do this. Announcement number two. This one, I guess, is like a little side tangent of an announcement to the first one. My new Twitch handle name is going to be Another Angelina. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Another Angelina, the channel, is going to be matching the brand of Angelina Kim on Twitch. And I don't want the names to be different anymore. I do want them to be connected so that there's no confusion. All the links and the names are the same. And yeah, simple as that. So my Twitch people, I already gave them a little bit of a heads up, but I wanted to let you guys know that that is going to be matching now. <laughs> Announcement number three. Ooh, is this a spicy one? The third and possibly biggest announcement that I have is that I am going to be releasing a Patreon page. Ah, I know, it's about time, Ange. I was very reluctant to actually making a Patreon page because I didn't know what I was gonna give to you guys as rewards because I just didn't think people would be interested in seeing my full length reactions at all because it's me messing up and it's me saying the same sentence three times or it's me making a really bad joke that I'm just like, people are not gonna find this funny. But it turns out all of you guys want to see that. <laughs> for those of you guys who've been begging me for the full length reactions, they're coming to my Patreon page. And if you guys want to support your girl, and if you guys want to see the full length reactions of whatever I post from here on out, all future videos, all of the commentary videos will be on Patreon full length, uncut. And you get a special thanks slash shout out on my videos so uh that's not it's not much but i really hope that you understand that being a creator is not easy it's not like i'm making a salary like all of my friends are and it's not like i have insurance <laughs> actually now i'm getting insurance i didn't have health insurance for two years three almost <laughs> whenever i got out of school which was almost three years ago so that's good later this year around that time i'm going to be moving out as well and i'm going to be becoming a dog mom so not only that i am aiming to upgrade a lot of my equipment my camera i'm no longer going to be using my a5000 such an old boy and i've been using it for my commentaries ever since i got it for youtube but it's time for an upgrade it's almost been two years now on youtube so we're gonna have to change that bad boy um and obviously barbecue table can't stay forever but yeah slowly going to be upgrading a lot of my equipment if you guys want to support directly to me patreon is a wonderful outlet to do so also if you guys didn't know you guys can do that through twitch subs but twitch takes about half the cut which isn't so bad but it, it is a cut and i also have my paypal linked to that specific twitch account um so if you want to donate that way that's also a way that you can do it directly if you do do direct <laughs> donations to my paypal i will have to disclaim that there are no refunds through 
PayPal. It's just the rule of thumb. A lot of Twitch streamers do it. A lot of content creators do it. Just if you do want to give through PayPal, just no note that in your head. I also have a mini, mini announcement to make as well. I am no longer going to be doing TV commentary series on my channel. I went to a place where I really needed to please the current audience that I had or really feel like I need to please every single fandom out there in terms of TV shows and stuff. And I love doing TV show pilots. I will still be doing TV show pilots, but I'm no longer gonna be doing series on this channel. I think it's just gonna be more efficient for my channel. It's going to be more beneficial and give me more time to do the movies and the content that I actually really want to throughout this year. And in order to do that, I need the time and the space to actually do to do that. And I can't do that when I'm doing a bunch of series is on my channel. The only one that I'm gonna give the exception for is Vox Machina. And that's only because they're very short. There's only nine episodes and I did say I was gonna finish it. Specifically that show I said I was for sure gonna finish it. So I'm gonna keep my word, I'm gonna finish the rest of the episodes of that. But Arrow, Walking Dead, I will not be tackling anymore. I hope you guys understand. It's not you guys, it's me. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Those are my announcements. Ah, are you guys excited? I'm excited. It does spur on a little bit of anxiety for me because I've been there, I've been in the situation of not knowing what I'm getting myself into, starting from scratch again, building up myself from nothing. And obviously now I don't have nothing. I have 75,000 beautiful supporters out there helping me, but it's time for me to grow and it's time for me to really expand and see what I can do and, and challenge myself and create even more bigger, better content for you guys. But I know how much effort it takes and I know how much it's gonna take until results show and I know that I need to buckle down and really, you know, grind it out. And it's not an easy thing to do. I know that because I've done it and I've been through that. Hence the backstory that I told before. With that being said, thank you again for even caring enough to listen to this entire video. But I already know and I already am so content with those of you guys who have been through the thick and thin of it. You guys know who you are. I'm very confident at the same time, if that makes sense, with just a little bit of push and effort, hard work, I know that I can get to where I want to be and I know that there will be an amazing lot of you guys standing by my side and supporting me along the way. And I hope in return I can provide great content, entertaining content. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing content, hopefully for a good amount of time. And in order to do that, I think I do need to start branching out and expanding my horizons i guess <laughs> i'm so excited and nervous at the same time but it's gonna be good i think so thank you again for listening thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye oh yeah also at the time that you're seeing this video there are going to be videos uploaded on those two channels watch them get those watch time hours up Get those channels monetized and um, show all the love. And for those of you guys who want to be Patreons, join the Patreon army. Okay, cool. <sighs>